It is not unusual for President Trump to spend part of his weekend tweeting, but this weekend may have set a new record. The president sending out 50 tweets or retweets by our count. He lashed out at multiple targets, including, as you say, the late Senator John McCain, who, of course, is no longer here to defend himself. Call it a St. Patrick's Day tweet storm. President Trump taking on a long list of topics over the weekend, from General Motors to Google, hitting out at SNL, which was a repeat, while taking the time to both praise and blast Fox News, asking the network to bring back Judge Jeanine Pirro, who was off the airwaves a week after making offensive comments about U.S. Representative Ilan Omar and hitting out at their lowest rated anchor, Shepard Smith. All of it while his staff defended him on Sunday shows over the White House's response to the tragedy in New Zealand. The president is not a white supremacist. I'm not sure how many times we have to say that. But it was the president's tweets against the late Senator John McCain that seemed to stand out nearly seven months after McCain's death from brain cancer. It comes after Ken Starr, the former Clinton-era independent counsel, lashed out amid reports that court documents show a McCain ally shared parts of a controversial dossier with the media. John McCain was an American hero who did so much for the country, but this is uh, unfortunately a, a very dark Mark Stain. That dossier allegedly included information linking Mr. Trump to the Russian government, a central focus of the special counsel investigation. On Saturday, the president saying McCain had far worse stains than this before going on to call McCain last in his class at Annapolis. In reality, McCain was fifth from the bottom. And again, Mr. Trump criticizing that now infamous no vote to repeal and replace Obamacare in 2017. McCain's daughter, Megan, a frequent Trump critic, fired back in her own tweet, no one will ever love you the way they loved my father. Still, it's an intra-party feud that dates back to the campaign. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. On Sunday, McCain's former Senate colleagues defended him. This is just another outrageous action by the president. John McCain was a war hero. And Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, one of McCain's closest friends and allies, also defended McCain, but stopped short of criticizing the president, tweeting McCain stepped forward to risk his life for his country. Nothing about his service will ever be changed or diminished. Now, the White House hasn't responded to our questions about what's behind the president's tweet storm. It is worth noting it comes against the backdrop of Washington waiting for the Mueller report expected soon.